What is up guys, my name is John Dawson. Maybe you do know me, maybe you don't. Um, if you don't, I'm pretty much, I guess you would say an entrepreneur. I'm currently building up my, my ranch, my homestead, my home, my property. Everybody calls it a thousand different things. We're on a handful of acres and we're getting ready to try and bring our horse home. Good boy. All right guys, so this is Theo. We currently have him boarded somewhere. Eventually gonna get him home, but we're trying to figure out some stalls and some other things that we're gonna be doing because with the wind and everything, we wanna make sure he has cover. Um, and then also when it gets hot, we wanna make sure that you can keep the sun off him. So we're gonna figure out some stalls. We kinda got the arena done like I showed in the other video, but I'll kinda put a video up right now of kinda the arena slash turnout that we have so far. Um, and we're gonna work on, on um, you know, just building it up as time goes by. But sometimes you gotta figure out what you can afford at the moment. So. We're gonna do what we can to get him home and then uh, go from there. Um, if you guys don't know my story, you can look at my other YouTube videos, but I bought this property, it was raw land. Uh, couldn't even really drive into it with our Jeep. Um, I, I, I basically parked up on the dirt road and, and slowly just cut, cut cedar trees, uh, cut mesquite trees until I could cut myself a path. And, and then we drove around and we looked for a place to build our house. We landed on this spot here. Um, the house that I'm looking at right now behind the camera is the house that I built with these with these two hands every single day just just you know working at it um, and now we're moving on to more land development so this arena slash round bin slash turnout slash whatever we need it for is something I built a couple weeks ago with some leftover lumber from a build that I did just two by sixes and two by tens in the dirt with some concrete it's a hundred by a hundred and it, it was something that was free I mean I had to buy what is it 50 bags of concrete, but overall it was it was free. Uh, for the most part, it was something that I, I needed before I could bring the horse home. And, and it's nothing that I really am going to be using for a long time. It's a great spot. It's not gonna be the arena. The arena is actually gonna go up there on the hill. So I wanted to get something here so we could at least get the horse home and actually start working with them. So he's been uh, boarded over at a place where my daughters take riding lessons. And um, I've been scrambling to figure out a way to get him home to the ranch. And the dilemma that I ran into was stalls. I, I, we don't have fencing around the entire perimeter of our property. I'll go ahead and tell you why that is. Up here along the border of our property, so it starts kind of up there past that telephone pole and comes all the way around to the back side of this telephone pole here and then comes down behind this. Um, that's our property line. A couple months ago, I got a price on what it would cost for me to get oil pipe cable, um, oil pipe fence, three, uh, two and three eighths uh, top rail and posts with uh, I think five run cable all the way across the top. And I'm pretty sure the budget came out to be around 50 something thousand dollars. And I remember just sitting down being like, um, that's not gonna be something that happens uh, anytime soon at all. And it was kind of a bummer cause it was kind of like a, a stopping point for me being like, you know, um, I can only do so much myself. You know, I, I can weld can well just like you know every DIY or I could probably get it done I could probably get it done would it look perfect absolutely not would it be what I really want no and it, I would just be bummed about it so I was like I'm not going to do that and then we talked about just doing all of our property with uh you know uh, t-posts and, and and wire and just with horses that's not the greatest idea I mean you never know what type of horse you're going to get some respect it and don't mess with it some end up getting their feet caught in it end up getting strung up on it, cut and all these different things, which causes you problems and, and cost you more money down the road with vet bills and all that other stuff. So I didn't want to do that. So I was kind of stuck being like, well, you know, I'm not going to build a wood fence around my entire property. That's just not going to work for this area. I kind of just gave up on it, if I'm being honest. But then um, after we bought the horse a few months ago, I'm like, I got to figure this out. I, I, I got online and I started looking for, for alternatives. I was on Facebook Marketplace. I'm still on fa Facebook Marketplace every day, looking for cheap pipe, looking for cheap fencing options. But there's also a part of me that I don't want something that is actually cheap. I want the price to be cheap. I want the quality be, quality to be high. Over time, I started looking into different companies and trying to figure out what was gonna work for me. Right here is where I'm gonna put the two stalls to start with. I'm not gonna end up doing the perimeter of my property yet. I'm still working on figuring out what I'm gonna do for that. But I figured in the meantime, if I can get this arena slash turnout set up, which I have now, and I have two gate entrances for that. And then right here, let me turn you guys. Right here is where I wanna put two stall kits uh, so I can have 
two horses right here. There's a gate that it'll attach to that will let them be into this arena turnout. But the cool thing is, is they will be on my property, which means they'll be getting worked with consistently. The only time they'll ever sit is on rainy days. Other than that, they're gonna be getting out and getting worked with. My first step was figuring out how to find affordable fencing, um, which I did, and I wanna show that to you guys right now. These are the two stall kits that I got for my horse. Uh, they're 20 by 20 um, with shade cover over there in the background um, from Seven Peaks Fence and Barn. Look, I even got a hat, how cool, how cool is that? This is an awesome, awesome company. Now I did a lot of research on them, um, and as a matter of fact, the cool part about a company is when you don't have to dig deep to find customer review videos, to find DIY installers doing it, to find all this information, then you know that that company's not trying to hide information. When you find a company and you're like, I need to know more about them, and you can't find anything, that's where I'm like, uh, I don't know. But this company was actually a no-brainer because one, when I went to their website, they gave prices. They were like, I, I scrolled through and they're like, hey, this, this kit is gonna run you about this much. This kit's gonna run you about this much. Um, and then I went to their YouTube and there was like, here's a video on how to install it. Here's a video of someone else installing it. Here's a video review of a of hundred people saying that they used our kits and they love it. Um, and then they even do demo tests where they start banging it with, with sledgehammers and all this other stuff and I'm like, I feel like this brand's kind of back in their product. So I was like, I gotta, I gotta try this. So I went ahead and got two 20 by 20 stall kits with coverings. Um, and I think, let me, I don't know if I have the receipt in here. Um, it ran about 5,000 ish dollars, 5,000 and some change for two 20 by 20s with stall covers, uh, or, or, um, with, uh, I forget what the correct name is, I'm probably saying it wrong, with a uh, shade kit, with the shade kit. I'm super excited about this because there's, there's a couple things about this that really beat out the competition. One, the quality of metal, the gauge of metal, the assembly of it all, the welds. Now, they also have a ton of other things and I'll get into those probably in future videos and I'll just you know mention a couple of them as I go along. Like, I mean, they have arena kits, they have a bunch of other stuff, they have cattle working kits, stuff like that. But let me, let me I'm gonna pick up the camera here and I'm gonna actually show you guys why this is superior. In my opinion, the company Seven Peaks Fence and Barn utilizes your skill to make the price cheaper. So for people like myself, as you guys know, I built my house by myself, um, I built my fence by myself, but overall, um, they're saving you money by letting you do part of the assembly and part of the setup so that you're not paying a ton of money. You have to know how to use a screw gun, know how to set a post into the ground, and know how to somewhat get your, your, your ground ready which I would say most people that are gonna have any kind of animal know how to do those things with their eyes closed for the most part. So that's where you're saving the money. That's how you're getting higher quality stall kits, higher quality uh, fencing for a lower price. I'm gonna show you guys what these things look like up close. So let's go ahead and start with what just came in this box. Right here, we have the two, uh, the 20 by 20 stall kits with shade. These are the instructions. If you look at this, it gives you step by step on how to do it. Now, if you're a visual learner like I am, Bam, scan this code and it's gonna put up a video that you can then watch uh, Jeff or one of these guys, one of the brothers, set the fence up right in front of you on your phone while you're going. And if you're anybody who learned a lot of stuff from YouTube University like I did, uh, all you gotta do is prop your phone up, watch a couple minutes, do those things, pause the video, and then when you're ready for the next step, you play the video. So they've really taken an awesome approach on how to save you money, but also give you the resources to easily install everything without just getting a bunch of panels and then being like how does this go together so at the top here you have the the gates uh so you actually have the top the the, the I, I don't know what you technically call it in the fencing world in the framing world you'd call it the header which is going to keep your gates from splitting and sagging and all that other stuff you have these hinges which also have a grease port so if you're if your gate starts to starts to kind of start squeaking on you or not swinging properly all you got to do is hook up the same the same oil the same grease gun that you use for all your trailers all you got to do is hook that up to here give it a couple squeezes and your fences your, your gate's going to work like it's brand new that alone is in an a significant feature and I'm really excited about that as well as they have this bottom crossbar which is going to be in the dirt which is just another awesome way to keep your gate from from bowing to keep your gate from spreading uh, to keep everything just in line it's, it's awesome. Now you can see the gauge of metal here. Now I'm not sure of what exact gauge this is. I'm, I'm not a metal worker, so one of you guys probably knows. 
but you can see that it's a solid gauge. Um, these things aren't light, uh, but they're also not, I mean, I can, I can pick it up. This, what I have stacked right here is a, a 20 is two 20 by 20 stalls with two gates. And then I have two shade kits here. These are the pipes that are going to go into the ground, uh, that will actually be sunk into the ground that will go up and connect to, uh, your, um, shade kit, uh, framing, I guess you could call it, uh, your, your cross beams, I'm pretty sure. And then also we have the four trusses, which is what's going to span that 20 uh, foot space. It even comes with the sheet metal. I mean, geez, talk about everything you need. To bring all this together, Seven Peaks, Fence and Barn, awesome company to work with when it comes to customer service and who you're working with, but also insane quality of product when it comes to the actual material that is being shipped to you. When the guy showed up, he backed his trailer in, he hopped out of his truck, my brother and I just unloaded them all to the ground. Yes, I had the camera rolling, but I didn't have the record button pressed, so I missed all of that, sorry. Uh, but it took us about maybe, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes to unload all of this stuff and just set it on the ground. And um, now it's on me to put this stuff together. I I'd be lying if I said I wasn't excited. I'm able to put this together and bring my horse home. Like and subscribe to this channel. Like the video, ring the bell, whatever it is you wanna do if you wanna see the installation videos that I'm gonna make um, of me putting this together. If you wanna see me getting Theo home and actually using the arena that I built. Again, guys, I encourage you, if you wanna start a ranch, if you're trying to build something up, figure out how to do it on your, on your own. Figure out where you can save money. I've made this video longer than I expected, but I hope this information helps you guys. Again, I wanna encourage everyone to get out there and do what you gotta to do to chase the dream that you're trying to chase. Um, it's possible, guys. I'm learning, I'm at ground level, educating myself as I, as I you know, get horses, as I get land, as I expand and build fence. So if you wanna follow along with that, please do. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, obviously here on YouTube. Uh, anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all. Make sure you hit that subscribe. Much love.